In the many caves of the mountain ranges of Coahuila, the nomadic peoples have for centuries placed their dead in those sacred areas. Even in colonial times, these caves were known by the Spaniards. One account in 1778 stating, There were human remains wrapped in finely woven petate bundles. They were considered chichimeca, an umbrella term given to the nomadic peoples of northern Mexico by the Aztecs. Similar to the Romans referring to the Germanic tribes, the Aztecs referred to the chichimeca, which may translate to dogmen, as savage and nomadic. Yet in the cave of the Candelaria, and the artifacts found inside it paint a different and more complex picture of one of the many societies known as the Chichimeca. Discovered and excavated from 1953 to 54, the cave is associated with the Guahuilatecas and Huachichilas. The artifacts date from 1100 to 1380, based on dating textile fragments found. The dry climate of Coahuila helped preserve many important artifacts. Over 200 mortuary bundles were found. Many had already been opened by looters. Some bundles and wrappings are said to have been sold as fuel by the guano miners who came across them. Nonetheless, the incredibly preserved human remains placed in a flexed position and organic artifacts remained. In fact, many of the remains still had hair, tendons, skin, and even dried blood. Syphilis lesions were also found on some of the bodies. The bodies were wrapped in linen sheets and wrapped in cordage to keep that flex position. The bundles were placed in holes in the cave without an orientation. They were lined with patates and cactus paddles as well as with palm fronds. Alongside there were also digging sticks and bows. Amazingly what was also found was one of the only examples of a pre-Hispanic mummified dog in North America. They were also buried with many personal grave goods. Some of these include rabbit sticks, clothing, turbans, ornaments, sandals, and weapons, such as knives and woven quivers, that contained arrowheads and blades. Outside of the bundles in the cave were found baskets, deer antlers, digging sticks, atlatls, bows, arrows, darts, nets, and cradles. Many of the lithics were cruelly napped and appeared to have been used for hunting. The textiles were found to have been made mostly of yucca fibers, with only one textile made of cotton. In regard to the religion of these peoples, there were found some deer antlers and bighorn sheep horns. Freshwater and saltwater shells and snake vertebrae necklaces were also found alongside earrings and pectorals. Finding these artifacts were very important in understanding the peoples of northern Mexico. It is also believed that the people who used La Cueva de la Candelaria interacted with the peoples of Oasis America in the modern U.S. Southwest, notably the basket maker culture, due to the lithics and bows found. And although the digging sticks are believed to have been used for agriculture, it is more likely they were used for digging tubers and cutting into the hearts of agave or to pick up hot embers based on the burn marks on the sticks. Not only does this sort of artifacts tell us more about one of the many societies referred to as the Chichimeca, it also shows that they were not a simple nomadic hunter-gatherer nation, but also one with complex rituals and material culture.